God is good to us, y'all. Hallelujah. God is good to us. I feel a sweet spirit. Hallelujah. And I know it's the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm letting you know that today. Hallelujah. It's a sweet, sweet spirit. My God, my God. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord for that, y'all. Hallelujah. How many of y'all thank the Lord for that sweet spirit? My God, sweet as precious, sweet present, a sweet and anointing. My God, we just want God to just have his way. Do what he got to do with us. Hallelujah. Cut it as he got to cut us. Strip us if he got to strip us. Oh, come on, somebody. Ah, my God, my God. Clean us more and more and more. How many of y'all need to still need to be clean? I need to be clean more and more and more. Hallelujah. I need to be clean by the washing of the word of God. Yes, I, I realize every day I need the Lord help. Hallelujah. How many of y'all feel like I feel? Yes, How Lord. Every day, every day, not just someday, every day, every minute, every second. Yes, Good God Almighty. I need the Lord. I can't do it without him, y'all. How many of y'all know we can't do it without him? Hallelujah. Some, some people think they can do it without him, but they've been deceived by the enemy. My God, hallelujah. We, they've been deceived by the enemy, y'all. Hallelujah. We got to pray for many people today. The men of a loved one, men of the people that pray, got many people within the church. Hallelujah. We got to pray for them because they've been deceived by the enemy. Hallelujah. And they mind, the enemy got to think that they don't need God. But I'm so glad. How many of y'all glad this tonight? All right. That we know that we need the Lord. And we can't do it without him. My I mean, you know you can't do it without the Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. We need the Lord, y'all. Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you we need the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, we need the Lord. Everybody need the Lord. Hallelujah. Even right now, you might be going through something right now. You might be facing a difficult moment right now. All you gotta do is just reach out to him. Hallelujah. All you got to do is just touch him. Hallelujah. Just like the woman that did Israel blood for 12 long years. My God. Hallelujah. She was in pain. She was hurting. I don't know how she was hurting her, but I know that she was hurting. Yes, sir. She was gone too, y'all. Yes, sir. And she heard about a man called Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Anybody heard about that man called Jesus? Good God Almighty. She heard that man was passing by. Yes, was passing through town. Hallelujah. Yes. Passing by us away, my God. Yes, and my God, she said it was a crowd of people, y'all. Yes, my God. Oh, God is good to us, y'all. Yes, but she had a need. Anybody got a need tonight? Yes, I got a need, man. Hallelujah. Yes, I got a need of Lord Jesus yes, to be just like Jesus in every way, Father. And that woman heard about this man called Jesus. And she said to herself, if I honor, if I just honor could touch, then just to him, not his body, not his body, not his city's just to him, just a little part of it, my God. A little part of it, y'all. Just to, if I just go. Touch it to him of his son. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I just know. Yeah. Hey, if I just have a little faith, yeah. God, and if I just press through my God, if I just touch, I know I'm going to be healed. I know I'm going to be delivered. I know. Ah! 
just want to attack. I'm going to be made whole. This world of press, man. This world of press away, y'all. The crowd, the crowd will try to stop her. We can't let the crowd stop us, y'all.
if, if we don't cry out, the rocks will cry out in our place. I'm not going to let no rock cry out in the morning. I'm not, I don't know about you, but Mark is not going to let no rock cry out in the What about you? I come here to make a joy for the Lord. I'm going to go. Because he loved me enough to come from heaven and go to a rugged cross and die for me. Be getting beat for me. Being bruised for me. Being pierced for me. Jesus Christ. He did that for the one who, who hated him. He did that for his enemies. He did that for ungodly people. He did that for people who needed something. They needed a savior. They needed a savior. And there was only one person who could save. Only one person who could save. And his name was Jesus Christ. The Father sent his only begotten Son. To die, to die for mankind, for all humanity. He did that death because he wanted fellowship. God wanted fellowship with man because Adam had broken that fellowship, that bond that they had together. Adam broke it by being disobedient. But God, oh, yeah. but God, oh, yeah. God, when Adam was running around with fig leaf righteousness, All right. Adam had fig leaf righteousness. God, God, the God of all creation, the one who spoke the words in the existence. The one who spoke the worlds into existence. Yes, he said that is not a, that is not sufficient. That's right. That's right. He said that is not sufficient. So he sacrificed an animal yes, sir. and made tunics of skin yes. and clothed man. Yes, God performed the first sacrifice. Yes, God himself. In Genesis, God pre performed the first sacrifice yes, for mankind. For mankind. Right. Even though they were unrighteous at, the, at that moment. That's right. They became unrighteous yes, when Adam was disobedient. When Adam was disobedient, he, 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 he ended up the tree. Yes, sir. And he seen that he was naked. Come on, yeah. The father said, Who told you that? Yeah. Oh, you. The father wanted to know who oh, told him that. Yes, sir. Where did you get that knowledge from? Oh, no. Because that wasn't for me. That's right. That knowledge didn't come from me. That's right. Oh, but that great God, yeah. that merciful God that we serve. Yeah. That compassionate Savior, yes, a friend to humanity, yes, sir. he took it clothed man. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank if you. he had that clothed man, man would be lost. Oh, yeah. Man would not have had a hope. That's right. And he put, and when he clothed man, he gave man a promise. He promised him that his seed would bruise the head of a serpent. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. And don't you know, it came to pass? Yes, it did. It came to pass. Yes, it did. Jesus Christ came to earth. Yes. When Jesus Christ came to earth, the serpent was wiggling. Yes, sir. Because you know that deadly blow was about to come. That's right. That deadly blow was about to come to his head. Yeah, he, he knew it. Yes, sir. 
He would, he would give Jesus Christ a life blow. Right. But Jesus Christ would give him a deadly one. Yes, sir. Yeah. One that would incapacitate yeah. him yeah. forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God we serve right now. The one who calls all mankind to repent. The reason he wants you to repent is because he wants you to have fellowship with him one more time. One more time. He wants to make you into something that you were never called to be. He wants to make you a new creation. Yes, sir. You weren't called to be sin. Right now you're dead. You're dead in your trespasses. You're dead in your sins. Yes. You weren't called to be that. Right. You were called to be righteous. righteous. You were called to be righteous. Amen. And the only way to have right standing again is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the atoning sacrifice of his death. Yes, sir. Of his burial. Yes, sir. And of his resurrection. Yes, sir. You must lean to Jesus. He's the only one. If you want life, he is the author of life. He's the one who created everything. Don't you know he can make you a mute? He can create, he can recreate you. Yes, sir. He can transform you. Yes, he can. He transformed a man who was persecuting the body. If he can transform a man who was persecuting his body, what do you think he can do for you? Paul, Paul was dragging the saints to, 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 to the jailhouse. He, he went got letters, kicked their nose down, boom. Come on here, you've been calling on the name of Jesus, right. preaching on the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But God, God, he met God one day. He met, he met a risen Savior. He met a man who can change anybody. He met a man who knew him. He knew him before he was even formed in his mother's womb. That's right. Jesus Christ knew him. Yes, sir. Don't you know that Christ knows you too? Yes, sir. He knows the secret things about you. That's right. That's right. The things that you don't want nobody else to know. Jesus Christ knows. That's right. He knows them. That's right. Y'all forgive me. Please forgive me. I got, I got kind of excited. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, yes. We're going to talk about a man. On the road to Damascus, we're going to talk about the one who persecuted the church, Saul. Saul, Saul was a was, was a rascal. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I ask Father that you would help me, Father. Father, that you would use me, Lord God, that you would word my mouth, Father, that you would help me to speak your word, Father, that I might help someone, oh Lord God, to change their ways, Father, and help them to turn to you, Father. I ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the book of Acts, chapter 8, starting at verse 1. going to read about what what I just finished talking about. <laughs> I got too excited. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> Saul agreed to putting him to death. He's talking about putting to death one of the ones who were preaching the gospel. 
Yes, On that day, a severe persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the land of Samaria. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's the scripture. Meanwhile, Saul. Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord. He went to the high priest. It's nine in chapter one. Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord. He went to the high priest and requested letters from him to the synagogues in Damascus so that if he found any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them as prisoners to Jerusalem. He didn't receive that, that Saul, he, 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 he didn't agree with what Jesus, what, what the apostles were preaching. He didn't agree. He didn't agree with what they were saying, right. the doctrine that they had. Right. He, 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 he said that they were wrong. They called it the way. Yes, sir. The Christian way, the Christian life was called the way at the time. Uh -huh. Christians weren't called Christians then. Christians didn't get called Christians until after Antioch. <laughs> but, but, but Jesus, Jesus still Love, love what he didn't love what Paul had, was doing. He loved Paul. Yes, sir. He loved them. He loved. He loved them. He loved the man. man. Yes, sir. Yes. He didn't love the thing that he was doing. He was doing something that was out of order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was doing something that was out of order. Amen. He was dragging Jesus' people to to the prisons. Right. Putting them in jail, putting them in stocks. And, re and requested letters from him to the synagogue in Damascus so that he, if he found any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them to, to, as prisoners to Jerusalem. As he traveled and was nearing Damascus, a light from heaven suddenly flashed around him oh, yes, sir. an encounter yeah. with Christ. That's right. yes. An encounter yes, with was. Christ. Right. Amen. When you have an encounter with the Lord, right. your life will change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will no longer be the same. That's right. That's right. You will no longer be the same. Amen. All it takes is one encounter. Amen. <laughs> People all about you got to, you, you can lose your salvation. No, you cannot. Amen. If you have an encounter, one encounter, is all it takes. One encounter will change your whole life. Forever, you will not be the same. I don't care what you do, you will not be the same. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. As he traveled and was nearing Damascus, a light from heaven suddenly flashed around him, falling to the ground. He heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So, so look, look, at, look at this here, this, this picture. When you're saying things about, the, about your brother and your sister, you're touching God. You're touching God. You must realize you got to keep your mouth off of people because them people are the body of Jesus Christ. They are the body. 
Each one of you in here yes. is a part of the body. Amen. We are fitted together That's to it. make one unique creature. That's right. One unique creature. Amen. The church. Yes, sir. Amen. One new man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That encounter brought him to the ground. It brought him low. Yes. It brought him all the way down when he was upright. All right. But it took him to a, a flattened position. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. It, it submitted him oh, unto yes, the authority of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Who are you, Lord? He said. Lord. Look, at, look at what, what Saul is saying now. Uh -huh. Who are you? He wants to know who's. What's this that happened to me? And who is this I hear? He, he called him Lord, but he, he want to know who he is. He called him Lord. To call him Lord, he must know already who he is. He recognized him already. He was greater. He was far superior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am Jesus. Yes. The one you are persecuting, he oh, yes. That's the one. Yes. That's the one. The one. The one that he's that, that we serve. Yes. The one who loves us. Yes. The one who came for us. Yes. He replied, "But get up and go into a city, and you will be told what you must do." Yes, sir. I got all of Look, look at look at Almighty God. Yeah. He slapped him on the ground. Yes, yes, raised him up. Amen. Told him someone else would lead him. Right, right, right. He, he would be led by someone else. God knows what he wants. And then nobody can stop him from doing what he wants. You say, you say, but I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. Jonah went a running everywhere. Jonah told him to throw me in the sea because he knew what the problem was. He was the one who was running from Almighty God. You cannot run if God is pressing on your heart. Yes, sir. To repent and turn to him, oh, sure. you need to go ahead and submit yourself yes, yes, under sir. the authority yes, of Almighty God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And quit running. Amen. Amen. You're going to find yourself in a box yes. where there's nowhere to go. Oh, sure. You'll be going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and you'll end up in the same place. Yes, sir. But look. To the one who loves you. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one who can set you free. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. There's only one person. Only one. Who can set you free. Right. From any bondage. Right. Yeah. There's nothing that you are bound by. That the Lord Jesus Christ. Cannot set you free from. Yeah. Yeah. If he can set you free. From sin. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. If he can yeah. set you free from sin. Yeah. Sin is the worst thing in the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You 
You shouldn't be hearing nothing but crickets if you go outside. But if we hear a voice that, 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 that arrests our heart, calling our name, something miraculous has happened. They realize this. They realized that that, that, that that something they had never seen before, never heard before, right? A sound. Hearing the sound, but seeing no one. Right. Then Saul got up from the ground. And though his eyes were open, he could not he could see nothing. <laughs> Blinded. Yeah. By the glory of God. Yes. God, yes. God blinded him yes, for sir. a season. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. If God can do this, what do you think that he can do to your life? All right. Yes. He can hide you in him. Yes. Yes. Have you ever been covered from head to toe with a blanket? Come on, that, that covering that Almighty God will put over you yeah. will cover you till eternity. Yeah. Yes, sir. It won't right. just cover you for now. Right. It'll take you all the way to when he comes back. That's right. That's right. That covering will take you to when he comes back. That's right. And we know, the church knows yeah. he's coming back. Yes, sir. He promised it, and he got to do exactly what he said he would do. Yes, sir. He's coming back for us. Amen. If you have not made yourself ready, Come on, get ready. this is the place. Yes, sir. This is the time. Yes. you got to do it while you got breath in your lungs. Right. Right. A dead person cannot repent. Right. A dead person cannot be born again. That's right. You must have life in your body yes. to repent. That's right. You must have life in your body to cry out that I need to be born again. Yes, sir. You've got to have life in your body to confess yes, your sins yes. to Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the only one. Only one. He's the only one who can reconcile you unto himself. That's right. You say, why do I need reconciliation? It's because Adam's sin was imputed unto you. Right, right. Adam's sin was put on you, and you became a sinner also. Right. You were you were separated yes, from Almighty God. Yes, sir. Because of sin. Right. You need that righteous blood yes. that was shed on Calvary yes, for you. Yes, sir. If you don't apply that righteous blood to your life, you will be lost. You will be condemned. You will be judged. You need that righteous blood of Jesus Christ on your life. Without it, you're lost. You need a Savior. You need Jesus Christ. The world is doomed. Yes. The world has no hope. Yes, right. Shots won't help you. Right. Shots won't help you. That's right. That's right. You need a savior. Yes, you need to be rescued. Yes, you need the you need the one who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, the one who died. Yes, sir. The one who rose again yes. for your justification. Amen. He's the only one. only one. He's the only one. You need Jesus Christ yes, in your life. Yes, don't you know you are without hope yes, if you don't know Jesus? Yes, you don't have a hope. You need Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then Saul got up from the ground. And, look, and, and, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they took him by the hand and led him to Damascus. He was unable to see for, for three days 
and did not eat or drink. Yes. If God can change a, 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 the chief sinner, come on, preacher. What do you think he can do for you? Amen. If you submit yourself unto his authority, he won't turn you away. No, he won't. He came here seeking such as you. That's right, that's right. He came seeking those who are lost. Yes, yes. He came seeking sinners. That's right. He came seeking sinners. Yes, sir. That's who Jesus Christ came here for. Amen. He came to save. Yes, to seek and to save. That's right. Those that were lost. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, the Christos, the anointed one. Yes. He's the only one who can save you. That's right. Don't put your trust in Ben Franklin. No, sir. No, sir. It, it, it ain't worth the paper that it's printed on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your trust in your silver and gold. That's right. That's right. Because it perishes too. That's right. Put your hope in, in somebody that can help you. Yes. That body is Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put your hope in a risen Lord. Amen. Put your hope in a risen Savior. Yes, sir. Put your hope in the one who who, who, who conquered the grave. Yes, sir. He conquered death, hell, and the grave. Yes, sir. Nothing can conquer Almighty God. Come on, sir. Will you submit your life to him? Yeah. He won't reject you. Come on, Richard. He came here especially for sinners. Amen. He didn't come here seeking the ones who were well. Right, right. He came here seeking those who were sent sick. That's right, that's right. Sin sick. Yes, sir. If you're not saved, you are sin sick. That's right. That's right. And you need a healer. Oh, yeah. And that healer is Jesus Christ. Yes. You yes, need sir. a deliverer. Yes. That deliverer is Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. If you're bound on. by sin yes. and you meet the shackles of sin broken, yes, there's only one who has the victory. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ is the only one who can give you the victory over the sin that has you tormented. Yes, Jesus Christ is the only one who can set you free. Yes, He's the only one who can give life to you and make you alive. He's the only one who can rescue a man from out of the deepest pit of hell. Don't you know that he's the one who loves you? Yes. He cares for you yes, so much Thank you, Lord. that he went to Calvary. Thank you, Lord. He was beaten. Thank you. He was bruised. Thank you, Lord. Not for his own iniquities, uh, but for mine. Yes. My sin. Thank you, Lord. I'm the one who sinned. Yes. Jesus Christ didn't sin. Thank you, Lord. I did. I'm the one, Father. Yes, Lord. He took your punishment. Thank you. He took my punishment. Thank you. Yes, Lord. He took the punishment for the ones he loved. Yes. Love brought him to the cross. Yes, sir. Love brought him all the way to Calvary. Yes. All the way to the place of the skull. Yes. When it pierced him in his side. Yes, Lord. They put a crown on his head, a crown of thorns. Yes, sir. Love, love brought him there. Yes, sir. They, they even mocked him. Yes. He saved others. Yes. And he can't save himself. Uh, love. Come on, I thank God he didn't come down. Oh, yeah. I thank God he didn't come down. Oh, yeah. I thank God he didn't come down. Oh, yeah. he, he stayed up there for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. If he would have came down, if he would have, if he would have came down, we would be lost in him. He could have called a legion of angels to come and fight his battle. He didn't have to fight for himself. He could have called a legion of angels, and they could have took one angel could have took Calvin off. Just one. One angel. Could have destroyed the whole world. That's right, That's right. That's right. That's right. 
Jesus. But God stayed on that cross. Love compelled him to say, Father, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. That's love. I'm glad they rejected him when he came. I'm glad they rejected him. If they would not have rejected him, we wouldn't have had a hope. We wouldn't have a hope. We wouldn't have been lost. 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 But that, that Savior, he said, Lord. He said, Father. Father. Forgive them. Forgive them, Father. He's begging for forgiveness for the ones who killing him. They're killing him. And he's asking for their forgiveness. What a man. What a man. That man loved. He loved all the way to the grave. And still loved. He still loved. He loved so much that he compelled all men to come unto him. He's compelling all men. Eat Jew, Greek. He, he don't care. He don't care if you're Muslim. He don't care. If you're a Hindu, Amen. he say, come, oh, come. Oh, he wants you yes, to repent and turn from your wicked ways yes, and turn to a God who loves you. Yes, He's the one. He's the one. He's the one that came. He's the one who paid the price. Yes, Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the one. Yes, sir. He's the one who said, I'll go, Father, yeah. in eternity. Yes, sir. When, when, the, when the determined council said that somebody had to die, uh -huh. Jesus Christ said, Father, yeah. send me. Hallelujah. He said, I'll go. Yeah. I'll go and I'll take and pay for man's sin. Yes, sir. Shed my righteous blood. Yes, Shed my righteous blood. Yeah. Now we can be clothed. Yes, Lord. With righteousness. Yes, sir. The righteousness of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. When the Father sees us, He doesn't see the sin. Yeah. He doesn't see the shame. He doesn't see all the wrong that we do. Yeah. He sees the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. He sees His Son. Yeah. He sees what His Son imputed unto us. Yes, sir. He sees righteousness. The only way to be made righteous is to turn to Jesus. We can turn to Jesus today. Facebook, you need to turn to Jesus. He's the author of salvation. He's the one. He's the one. He's calling on your heart right now to call on his name. The Bible says, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. In other words, yes, Lord. he won't turn his back on you and say, no, I don't want you. Yeah. He won't say that. No. He said, come to me, my child. Yes. And he wraps his arms around you. Yes, sir. Because he loves you. Yes. He's a caring father. Yes, sir. He, he won't give you a snake. No, sir. When you ask for salvation, on, he'll give you just what you need. That's what you need. He'll give you salvation. Amen. Amen. You need a savior. In the condition that you are in right now, right. you are lost and without hope. Yes, sir. But I come to tell you, you can have hope yes. and you can have salvation. Yes, sir. Because Jesus Christ has prepared the table. Yes, the table has been spread already. Yes, the table has been spread. Already. It's already been spread. That's right. All you have to do is oh, accept yeah. him yes, as your Lord, yes. as your Savior, yes, Lord. as your King. Yes, Lord. He's the one. Amen. He's the one that you need oh, to help yeah. order your steps. Because yes, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. See, so your steps can't be guided unless you have the Lord in your life. 
you, you need direction for your, for your life. Yes, sir. Who do you get direction from? You go to God. Yes. You need a king yes, sir. who knows all and sees all. Yes, you need that king of kings oh, yes. in your life. Yes, you can't rule your life. Right. You're going to mess it up. Yes, sir. Let the king of kings rule your life. Yes, sir. The Lord of lords rule your life. Yes. That's right. Come out of your sins. Amen. Come out of your sins. Yes, sir. And turn to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Tonight is your night. Yes, sir. To turn to Christ. Yes, sir. Look to him for your salvation. Amen. He's the one who will give you the victor's crown. Yes, sir. That's the only way to get the victor's crown. Yes. Is to turn to him. Yes. Turn to him. Look to Jesus. Yes, sir. Look to Jesus. Amen. He's the one. Yes, sir. If he can change Saul from Saul to Paul yes. to a man who yes. preached the gospel yes. without hindrance, a man who was beaten with rods, yes, put in stocks yes. for Jesus Christ right. after he met Jesus on the road, yes. Yes. that man's life was never the same. Yes, he, began, he went from persecuting to preaching yes, sir. the gospel. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. The man spent some time with Jesus Christ. Yes, the Lord Jesus ministered to him. Amen. Don't you know the Lord will minister to you? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. If you submit yourself unto his authority, oh, my, my. he will come and sup with you. Oh, yes. Yeah. That God still is alive. Yes, sir. I don't serve a dead God. No, sir. I don't serve a dead God. I serve a God who's alive. The grave could not hold his body down. The Roman soldiers told a lie. How the fuck they stole his body? That was a lie. My Lord proved it by eating with his disciples. That's right. He proved it by letting one disciple stick his hand in his side in his wound. He, he, he stuck his hands in his pocket, his hand in, in, the, in the hand print. That's right. He proved it. Yes, he did. He proved it when he met Mary at the grave. Yes, sir. He proved that he was not dead, but he was alive. When he told him, don't touch me, I have not ascended unto my father and your God. He proved it. He proved it. Yes, sir. So what are you going to do? Are you going to still walk around with fig leaf righteousness? Or are you going to turn to the risen Savior who can make you righteous and, and give you eternal life? He can take you from that eternal death that you're in and give you eternal life. Yes, sir. He's the only one who has it. He's the only one who can place life in you. Just like when, when Adam was formed from the dust of the earth, God blew into his nostrils. The breath of life. Christ will put life in you. The only way for you to get life is through Christ. You know why? He is the door. No one coming to the Father except by Him. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. That's right. Christ is the door. Amen. If He is the door, you can't go around. You can't go that way around. You can't go under. You can't go over. You've got to go directly through that door. That's right. That's right. So I'm asking you, will you come through that door and say, Look, Jesus, take my life and rule my life. Take my life and turn it upside down. Make me a new creation in you. Because he's the only one. He's the only one. 
who can change you. Yes. Nobody else can change a man. Hello. Nobody can change a boy. Amen. Nobody can change a woman. That's right. It takes Jesus. Right. He's the one. He's the one. Will you surrender your life to him? Will you surrender your life to a risen Savior? Yes. The one who had already paid the price. Yes, sir. He paid the price already. You were already bought with that price. Uh -huh. That precious blood. Yes, sir. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. You were already bought. That's right. So all you have to do is surrender. Yes, the penalty for sin has already been paid. You can walk in righteousness right now. Right where you sit. Right where you stand. Right where you lay. You can be made righteous instantly. You don't have to, you don't have to wake up in the morning and be in the same state that you were. You can say that I am the righteousness of God. That's right. That's right. Because of what because of what Christ Jesus did. Yes, yes. Will you turn? Come on, preacher. Will you turn from your sins and seek the Lord while he may yet be found? Yes. Because one day he's not going to be able to be found. All right. This is a season of grace. Yes, sir. This is a season of grace. Yes. Every man, everywhere uh -huh. has a chance to run to that throne of grace right. Right. and obtain mercy yes. and find favor. Yes. If you want favor, you find it in Jesus Christ. Yes, you, you don't find favor in your friends. No, sir. They don't offer you no help. They don't offer you no help. They, they're miserable comforters. Mis miserable comforters. Yes, but man, if you turn to that Christ, the Christos, yes. if you turn to Jesus, yes. he'll help you. Yes. He'll help you. Yes, he, will. he will change situations. Yes, Things that look like they're not going to go your way. Uh -huh. He'll fix them. I know of God who's able to change anybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he changed me. Yes, sir. I was a rascal. Yeah. I, I was pistol packing Pete. <laughs> Everywhere I went, I had a pistol. Yeah. Let me tell you something. And Brother Cole would use it. Uh -huh. But God arrested me one day. Thank you, Lord. God arrested me. Thank you, Lord. He turned me upside down. All right. He turned my life all the way around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a, one of the biggest drug dealers in Lake Charles. Yeah. But I encountered. Yeah. I encountered yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes, sir. I had an encounter and fear came upon me. And I did not want to sell drugs no more. That encounter changed me. I wanted to live right. I went and found a job. I went to work with my hands. Instead of waiting on the corner for, for the people to pass and say, he go, you a rock. You go, you a rock. No, I went to work with my own hands yes, to supply what I needed for me. That's right. That same God who transformed me can transform you. Yes, sir. He can translate you out of the kingdom of darkness yes, sir. and translate you into the kingdom of, of his dear son. Yes, sir. Will you surrender tonight? Surrender your life to somebody who can really help you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. If you're bound, yes. I'm here to tell you, he can set you free. Yes, sir. Amen. I was bound yes. in sin. Yes, sir. And he set me free. Yes. He rescued me. Yes, sir. 
Don't you know you need to be rescued if you're not saved? Yes. You need to be rescued. Yes, sir. You're drowning out there and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize it. The world is swallowing you up and you don't realize it. You're headed to a grave. You're headed to a grave with, where there's separation from the Father. You don't want to be separated from the Father. God created our spirits to be eternal. Right, right. So why would you not want to be with an eternal God? Will you come? Will you come? If you have sickness in your body and you want to be prayed for, come. Come. Our God is a healer. Our God is still in the delivering business. Yes, Lord. If you need to be set free today from yes. anything, yes, Lord. He's, his hand is not sharp that he cannot deliver. Yes. Come. Yes, Lord. Facebook. Kneel right where you're at. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ask him to save you right now. Ask him to arrest your heart right now. Oh, Father, I thank you right now, Father. Thank you, Father, for your word, Father. Hallelujah. Somebody come and sing a song. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus while you still got time. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come to the risen Savior?